Hello, students. Today we are learning about wheel and tire removal and mounting, wood preparation, wheels and tires. It is an important part of the automobile driving system. When tire will reaches its limit, or when there are defects such as cracks, scratches, bulges, large tire holes, etc., you'll need to replace the tires. Here's what we're going to learn. How to remove and mount wheels and tires. Practical training equipment BAIC New Energy EV5. A set of common tools for practical training. Torque wrenches, gloves, lifts, tire strippers, etc. One wheel assembly removal. Installation of lifting pads. Place the lifting pads. Placement at vehicle lifting points. Directly below the lifting plane. Loosen tire mounting bolts. Choosing the right tool splicing rods and 21mm sockets. Loosen the tire set screw several times diagonally. Lift the vehicle to a suitable height. Adjust lift pads to proper position. Verify that the lift locks reliably. Unscrew the tire retaining nut. Use a tool to unscrew the tire mounting bolts. Remove the wheel. Take care to turn to the last nut. Need to hold the tire by hand. Avoid tire slippage. To separation of tires from wheel nets. Cleaning of sludge, gravel, and other foreign matter attached to tire rims. Check the appearance of tires for abnormal wear damage. Remove the existing balance block from the wheel net. Deflate the tires. According to the maintenance manual, choose a special tool for valve core removal to deflate tires. When the air is out of the tires, remove valve core. Separating tire flanges from wheel nets. Move the separating shovel 10 mm away from the edge of the wheel mesh and position against the side wall of the tire. Depress the release pedal, separating the tire bead from the wheel web. Turn the wheel. Repeat the above steps. Completely separates the other source of the tire from the wheel web. Installation of wheels on tire strippers. Wheels that separate the ceiling surface of the tire from the wheel nest. Placed on the turntable at the tire picker. Push the wheel upward toward the side with the valve tip. Clamping pedal. Securely fasten the wheel to the turntable. Adjustment of tire removal pile head position. Swing arm for mobile tire removal head. Bring it closer to the wheel volume side. Press down on tire removal head post. Distance between the head of the tire removal stake and the edge of the wheel net. Adjust it to 1 to 2 mm. Tighten the column with the locking handle. Pry bar against the pile removal head towards the wheel and swing hard towards the center. Separating tires from wheel nets. Depress the rotary pedal. Separating the tire from the wheel net. Three assembly of tires and wheel nets. Fixing the wheel net to the tire climber. Fixing the wheel net on the turntable. The side with the valve faces up. Assembling tires and wheel nets. Put the tires on the web. Assembling tires to wheel nets. Inflating tires. Inflate the tire valve with an air gun. Up to the ceiling layer on the inside of the tire. Fits perfectly on the edge of the wheel. 
Install the valve core into the valve head and tighten the knob. Inflate the tire valve with an air gun until the air pressure reaches the standard value. Check for valve tip leaks. Apply soapy water to the valve cores of the valves. Tie to wheel nut seal. Check for air leaks. Put on the tire valve dust cap. For wheel assembly installation, mounting the wheel mounting the tire to the wheel hub. Screw in the fixing bolts by hand. Pre-tighten the tire bolts with the right tools. Tighten tire bolts. Unlock the lift and land on the ground. Selection of torque wrenches According to the maintenance manual, tighten tire mounting bolts to 110 Nm. Tidy up and tidy up your workstation. So far, wheel and tire removal and mounting operations completed. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this will help you in your daily work and installations.